So I've been flying a lot of analog lately and I've tested a pile of cameras and here's my little thoughts. Originally like my favorite camera out of these was the, uh, the MCK uh, Nano Racer 3. It's a great camera, I like the colors. It's kind of like contrasty and uh, when you see MCK flying it, it kind of makes uh, neon colors look more neon. So they don't look as natural, the greens pop out, the blues pop out, it kind of oversaturates everything, but it makes uh, the image pretty sharp too. And that sharpness is good enough that I can go exploring through trees and stuff, which I don't really feel that comfortable doing with any other camera. So I, I, I really like, this has been my favorite camera. Unfortunately, it's had some issues. I'm gonna show you in this video, like, cause this is basically <laughs> a video that, that I'm going to share right after this comes with, it's it's this camera. One of them I tried to just take off this plug to direct solder and after I did that it stopped working. I don't know why I didn't do anything wrong so that was kind of frustrating. And then this one used to be in here and then it started rolling. And I thought it may have been like the uh, steady view receiver or whatever but it was this camera because as soon as I took this camera out. This is the Runcam Nano Phoenix 2. I replaced it with this one and then all of a sudden everything was fine again. So this camera is not doing any of the rolling. So the problem is with the uh, the MCK one. I don't know. I smacked it a few times and I started doing funny things. So sometimes if your camera is doing funny things, you can uh, change the setting from NTSC to PAL. Sometimes your goggles are set in NTSC and your camera is set in PAL. So that could be part of why your camera is having issues. So all you have to do is make sure that both of them are on the same. I always use NTSC. NTSC will give you the 30 frames per second, but a little bit less resolution. And PAL will give you 25 frames per second, but a bit better resolution. And for me, I'd rather have the uh, frames per second. So right now I've been flying this one and this has been kind of looks a lot more natural than the MCK. So it's, it, this is kind of like my favorite camera now for just looking nice naturally. The MCK is still my favorite for maybe like racing and I like the neon colors. I tried out the Kangaroo. The Kangaroo has really good latency apparently, like it has like 0.4, like 4 milliseconds of latency. But I didn't like how the Kangaroo looked anyways, I just felt like it looked old and didn't look that nice. I've tried the Baby Rattel Nano 2, these are all Nanos, and this looks nice too, and I like it, but it's got like this extra stuff on the back that makes it like take up more space and that's that kind of gets in the way what well, that's another thing that's kind of nice inside because in the disc it's, it's super tight but on the uh, back of this phoenix 2 nano instead of having like a thing that comes out like this it's a little bit flat and pointed up so they don't stick out as much so it's easier to get really nice and tight then this is the classic ant and the classic ant is what comes with like the crux uh, 35. It also came with the old Beta FPV 85X. It's a great camera, just the, the the one that has that you can screw into. There's a few different versions of the Ant, so you want the one that you can screw into, and that's just like a two gram camera or less. Like I think it's a two gram camera. It's super light, uh, and all the FOVs on these are like around 155 to 165, and I like having that wider. FOV because some of your analog commas will have a 145 and I just I always want that 160 uh, FOV or 165 because the bigger the FOV is the better it is especially if you're going quicker racing and whatever and I do like flying a bit faster now and then last but not least is the toothless nano the nano toothless 2 which was recommended to me my buddy it's his favorite and for me, it's it's nice. I like it, but I still I, I like the the Runcam Nano 3 MCK version and the uh, Runcam Phoenix. There's also a new one focusing the R Racer Nano 4. It's a little bit heavier. Like it's like five grams because these other ones are these are 3.6 grams or 3.5 grams. But the uh, the run cam the new racer four is five grams and it's really focusing on being waterproof. I don't really care about that. 
This is basically the same camera as the MCK, but it doesn't have the MCK branding, so it's about $5 less. So moving forward, I'm probably going to be using the Runcam Racer Nando 2 V2 and other one, which is the Runcam Phoenix 2 Nano. Those I think are my two favorite analog cameras for now. Let me know your thoughts, what, you, what your favorite ones are. So now you're gonna see the video with the footage from the MCK camera and you can see what was happening to me. And then at the end of that video, I'm gonna link to a video of this, cam this um, drone doing dives and you can see exactly what the footage looks like out of this one. Hopefully you found that useful, maybe it helped you, and uh, let me know your thoughts uh, if you agree with me, what your favorite nano FPV camera is. Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can!